I make interactive installations that allow humans and machines to play creatively together. My artworks make use of software and electronics, but what defines them as cybernetic is the interplay between a responsive system and a human audience. My name is Jeffrey Drockman and I'm a cybernetics artist. Each piece begins with a vision. When I close my eyes, I can see the work complete in every detail. From there, it's just a matter of implementation, of solving the technical problems to realize the vision. On the outside, my works are brightly colored and use mirrors and familiar motifs. All of this to make an initial offer of engagement to the audience. I build in sensors to detect people as they come closer. Inside the artwork, its software mind formulates a response, and the game begins. A software mind consists of a number of concentric shells. The outermost one deals with the sensors and the mechanics of the piece. The innermost one deals with its emotional state, whether it's feeling bored, excited, sleepy, attention-seeking, or grumpy. I think that cybernetics, in the form of human-machine interaction, is shaping our collective destiny. This interaction can be frightening or alluring. Cybernetic artworks explore both sides of this equation. Sometimes that gives rise to surprising behaviours through a process called emergence. I can't predict when it will occur, I can only set up the preconditions and watch and see what happens. An important concept for me is Beauregard's notion of simulacra. Simulacra are simulations stacked up in layers where one thing pretends to be another thing that in turn is a copy of something else. Beauregard says that as this stack deepens, the idea of the original loses validity and, in my interpretation, the order becomes reversible. I call this the inverse Pinocchio effect, the real boy who wishes he was wooden. The artworks that become most alive combine a level of internal complexity with just the right audience triggers to start the reaction. I think this is particularly true of Floribots, as well as my light sculpture Surface and the interactive installation called Sky. Some of my artworks have hundreds or even thousands of moving parts, but I still design them for long-term durability. Just as a well-maintained vintage car can still be driven when it's 50 or 100 years old, I don't see any limit to how long my artworks can be kept in operation.